In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically generate client-side code in your favorite programming language. Currently, I'm logged in as Karen Fell. She runs a consultancy called MakeApp.Inc, along with a number of developers who work for her. She has a couple of applications she's working on. One of them is the Systems iPad app, and you can see that this Systems iPad app uses a number of different APIs, including the Acme Warehouse one. So let's go ahead and test out that Acme Warehouse API by going to the interactive documentation. So here's the interactive doc for API Warehouse. It contains a number of endpoints, and each of these endpoints is explained in detail how to access it and what's required in order to hit that endpoint. If I want to test out this documentation or this API, I can go ahead and select an application by clicking on the API key dropdown. Now, this shows me a list of all applications that are valid for the Acme Warehouse API that Karen currently has, that Karen currently owns. The Systems iPad app is the only one that's valid in this list, so I'll go ahead and choose it. Now, I know from the documentation that it requires an API key to authenticate. So I'll click my authentication button, and from the pop-up, I'll choose API key, and you can see that the API key for the Systems iPad app is pre-filled here within the pop-up. Now in this case, I'll go ahead and scroll down to a list products endpoint, and I'll give it a try. So I click try it out, and because I have an application that's valid for the Acme Warehouse endpoint, it submits the API key and does the check and returns me all of the results from that back end. I can also click the Query button to find out what that query looks like. And you can see here I'm hitting an endpoint server, the Acme Warehouse REST API, on the list products endpoint. And I can generate code for that call as well. Now, since this is the system's iPad app, I know that I'm programming in Objective-C. I can choose that from my dropdown, and it reformats this call in Objective-C. I can then go ahead and select that, copy it, and paste it directly into my application so I can test it directly from my code. I'm that much further ahead.